Hi all, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to discuss about Intune device filters. Specifically, what are those device filters and how we can effectively use these filters in configuration policies. So stay tuned. Let's see why we need to use these device filters uh, in the first place. Imagine that you have hundreds of hundreds of devices in just one device group and this device group contains different types of devices that are enrolled into Intune that needs to be assigned into different configuration profiles but chances are you may have another set of policies or another set of configuration sort of uh, policies that says out of those 100 devices only 20 devices that has what a specific attribute needs to go into this configuration policy so this is where the device filters would come into the scene you can specify depending on these attributes there are a couple of attributes that you can set up um, so a couple of new attributes that recently came in as well so you can use those attributes in order to specify your set of devices and ideally you can set them into an inclusion or an exclusion chances are you might say there are a couple of devices which has got this common attribute that should not be in this configuration policy for for whatever the reason so you can exclude or else as i mentioned earlier you can include into this policy but not the other devices in that group uh, that has got hundreds of devices so let's see how we can set up the device filters in intune portal so um, i'm in the intune portal right now so i'm going to the tenant administration setup so in there you can see the filters so I have created some filters already, but I will um, show from the scratch. So there is this um, create option. So there are a couple of options. So manage devices and managed apps. So in this case, we just need the managed devices to go on. Um, so I'm going to create um, my filter three and platform will be Windows 10 and later. So in here, so it's pretty much a, a rule base that I need to create in order to capture those devices. So um, I want to capture the devices that are, let's say, my CPU architecture um, is equal to, let's say, AMD 64, for example. So when you create that, um, you, you can see the rules in DAX over here and you can preview the devices as well. So this preview will show you all the devices in your Intune environment that has got this attribute on, or that is pretty much getting equal to this um, the attribute that we are setting right now. Um, so you press next um, and that's it. So you create your policy um, or the, the filter from there. So now we have our filters created. Let's see how to add this filter into a configuration policy. So I'm in the configuration section in Intune right now. So uh, let's create a uh, very simple policy. I'm not going to do anything fancy here. I'm just going to add a um, probably, let's say, a delivery optimization um, policy. I want to include only the devices that have this uh, filter captured by this filter. So uh, let's go there now. I'm going to add the group. I already have the group created. There's no filters right now. And I'm going to include uh, the filter here. And that's it. So with this filter on, now it will make sure to assign this policy only to these devices or set of devices which are already captured in this filter. And in the same way, if you want to exclude some devices uh, which captured by this filter, you can still do the same thing. So let's try that one as well. So we have our um, policy here, just do a refresh. the assignments so here i want to exclude uh, the filtered uh, devices so i'm going to select the exclude filtered devices in this assignment in assignment and press save and that's it 
So it will make sure not to assign this policy uh, or the configuration policy to this set of devices, but apply to all the other devices. So there you have it. It's a very easy process to enable these filters and assign them in the configuration policies. And you can include or exclude the devices accordingly, depending on the attribute that you set up in these filters. I hope this video was informative. Please subscribe my channel and like my video, and I'll see you in the next one.